So let us use the script now for Jira on cloud to fetch the list of projects along with the, the lead, the project lead. Now this can be important and this can be useful because uh, when you have to, let us say prepare some report or you just want to know the project list in your Jira instance, I think this can be useful. Now we have talked about this uh, using uh, nothing but REST API. So if you use this endpoint REST API 3 project search and if you hit this uh, endpoint, you will get a list of project. And the good thing is that when you look at this uh, this JSON, you have the project name and you have the project key. And uh, you can also basically do something like uh, maybe if you want to expand, let us say uh, you want to fetch the leads, you can also do something like expand is equal to lead. So for example, if you pass in here in the in the uh, I mean if, if you also use expand is equal to lead you can also get the lead information now if you look at the response you have a key of course the project name but we also have lead information and of course uh, you can take a look at the display name so let us do the same thing using uh, groovy and of course we'll use a uh, script now for Jira on cloud now I'm I'm of course using this standard uh, uh, code that I have been using. The only thing that I changed is the uh, endpoint where I'm using uh, REST API 3 project search. Now I can uh, return this uh, response dot body because we always have a body. Of course I'm not really doing any um, error handling in this particular piece of code but this is the whole body that we of course uh, can also retrieve using the Talent API tester. Now, of course, we have to pass this JSON. So what I want to do now, I want to focus on values and then I want to get the key and uh, maybe the project name first. So let us do that. So what I'll do, I'll uh, use maybe uh, something like uh, dot values because I know there is a, uh, th there is a values that we can fetch and then I can do something like uh, dot each and here we can do some groovy magic. So I will iterate over this and uh, I may want to log this. Now here we can of course do something like it dot uh, key and uh, in my code I want to also I'll, have, I'll basically add some delimiter in, in between something like uh, comma and then I will print uh, it dot name, which I can see here. We have something called as name. And uh, I think let us run this. Let us run this part, uh, this this particular piece of code, and then uh, we'll proceed further. So I think we are we, we have made progress, and uh, we can see the key and the project name. This is this is all good. Uh, we also want lead information. So what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll also expand this expand is equal to lead and uh, now we should have the lead information and we can fetch that using uh, I'll first use a delimiter so that uh, we can copy it in Excel or CSV and what we need is uh, it dot uh, so we have the lead and within lead we have display name so it dot lead dot display name and I think uh, this I think this is it let us let us try to run this and uh, hopefully we should be able to get the information that we want so we have the uh, project key we have uh, the project key followed by I'm just trying to copy this Okay, we have the project key, we have the project name, and the lead. Of course, in this particular case, I am the I am the only lead, except in few cases. But uh, you get the idea. I think uh, the whole idea here is to um, basically fetch this information programmatically, and this can be useful. And I'm sure you can uh, do the same thing. I just wanted to show you how it is done for, of course, project. But you can do the same thing for something else. Maybe you want to prepare a report. Maybe you want to get the list of issues in uh, 
CSV. Of course, you can do that using uh, the using the of course the issue navigator. But maybe you want to send it somewhere else. Maybe maybe you want to programmatically sync your issues that you have in Jira to maybe another tool. Maybe you want to generate CSV file or any other format. Basically, the whole idea here is to understand how to get the list of projects and how to basically pass the JSON file. So short video, but I thought I'll share something uh, something interesting and I'm sure you will find this uh, useful. So that is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.